Hey everybody, this is Ori again from Astral Web, and I wanted to share uh, a few tools made by Google that really help with your SEO efforts uh, or marketing es efforts in general. So, um, you know, a, a lot of uh, marketers, a lot of uh, business owners always try to want to find the best tools. What can help me? Uh, paid ones, expensive ones, cheap ones, free ones, all that stuff. Um, so, what I want to say is uh, the tools are great, but there's so many tools available now that uh, don't cost money that you should use them and you have plenty of plenty of work with it. So I'm going to go one by one. All of these tabs have been open with all of these Google owned uh, tools and uh, that can help you with SEO and I'll explain kind of a tip or two about each one. So the first one obviously we're going to start with google.com. So anytime you want to do research, uh, you want to find uh, your com what your competitors are doing, uh, you want to search specifics, use Google. So very simple, not, not something, uh, you know, a secret or anything. Everybody knows this. But what you can actually do, and you really need to, to get good at this, is to know how to search. So uh, let's say I'm selling uh, soccer jerseys, okay? So um, if I'm doing research, one, obviously I can search for all of my competitors, see what they're doing. Uh, two, I can use things like... Um, a, a you know site colon or I can use all these different search operators to refine it look for it uh, I can use things like um, the refining by blog maybe I want to find all of the uh, blogs that, that uh, deal with uh, soccer right so I can then reach out to them I can create content for them I can use I can always subscribe to, to search within the discussions or news or stuff like that so Google.com, number one most powerful tool for, for any kind of marketing research that you want to do. Uh, pretty obvious. Now, the second thing, which is the, uh, the second tab, uh, is basically to use uh, part of what's in Google.com, which is the, the auto-suggest. So uh, what happens when you, know, when you type in something, it'll try to give you, so let's say if I type in soccer, soccer space, it'll try to give me what are the next most popular searches that people actually type in. So that can give me content ideas, more ideas of what's going on, and uh, uh, really give me a lot of insight. So use the auto-suggest. It's very, very helpful. Okay? So we did that. So uh, google.com, auto-suggest, and we, we talked about. Okay, so the next one is AdWords. So right now I didn't sign in, but I just wanted to give you a tip about AdWords. So um, if you're doing SEO, you're doing organic marketing, AdWords is actually in many cases a very good complementary tool uh, because it's a, right now a Google Analytics doesn't provide all of the keyword data for uh, for organic results. You know they have that not provided, getting to right now about 80 percent or so, and soon getting to 100. You don't really have much information. So before you do a SEO efforts, which you obviously know takes a lot of time, takes months, years, and on, you want to try to, uh, in many cases, pay some money, get actual keyword data, know what converts better. Don't, don't spend two years trying to rank for a keyword and the, the, the conversion rate is not good. So spend some money and, and gather uh, some data or a lot of data. Okay, so that's, that's AdWords. It's a quick tip. Okay, so uh, AdWords we did. Now, uh, the next thing, uh, part of AdWords is the actual uh, keyword tool, right? So um, it used to be the, the AdWord Keywords tool. Now it's the Keyword Planner. Uh, obviously, you can tap into this tool and get, gain information about who's searching. Uh, sorry, what are people searching for? What are the numbers? Um, and then you can search by landing pages, maybe your, your competitors, and just get, gather additional information with this keyword tool. Very helpful, of course, for, for SEO efforts. Okay. Uh, next thing is uh, Google Alerts. Google Alerts, very simply put, you can set queries to check every now and then. Let's say every day you can take uh, right in your competitor's uh, website and see what new mentions are, are talking about them. You can uh, have a, a alerts for specific types, maybe only uh, blog posts about something that you're looking for. So using this uh, alert system to actually give you insight and help you check uh, automatically this information. Very, very useful. I love doing it for competitors to see what they're up to. I love doing it for our brand name and uh, a lot more other things. Okay, so great. So the next thing is obviously Google Analytics. Um, so I'm not going to go into it, but 
Google An Analytics has tons and tons of information. What are your users doing? What do they not like about the efforts? What are the keywords? What are the top landing pages? Uh, on and on and on and on. So very helpful for a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, the next thing is using Google's uh, Blogger or Blogspot. Have a blog, get content, link to yourself, get more users, write more content, very, very obvious, okay? Uh, the next one is the Google uh, PageSpeed or Google developers in general. So it gives you a lot of insight, but I like to use PageSpeed because uh, actually I'm very obsessed with, ha with this, the page load, uh, loading time and I just love working on that and making our clients' websites as fast as possible. Um, there's been many, many researches uh, research that has showed uh, that the um, having slower speeds on your website actually uh, make your visitors leave. So you just want to have a nice design store. You want to have a nice quick store. So evaluate it, analyze your store, figure out what the problems are, make it faster and faster and faster. Um, also, you can use things like a Google's a, a mod page speed, which uh, helps your server uh, run faster. Um, it in that, you know, some of our clients we use it, but some of the time it's a little uh, uh, over memory usage on our servers. But it, it's a good idea. There's a lot of tools. There's a lot of caching. A lot of all these tools that uh, you can actually read about in the Google Developers. Okay. Uh, next thing, obviously, is uh, Google Calendar. Setting up uh, just updates. Setting up a, a regular um, content calendar. You know, once a week you write for a blog. And twice a week you research about this. Three times a week you do this and that. Very, very useful. Okay, next one, Google Drive. Uh, great for co collaboration with Excel, Word, uh, all that stuff between uh, teams, you know, so you have everything online. You don't always have to have one, one of the same computer. It's great for creating public documents that you can actually gain leverage from them for SEO. Just perfect for organization, perfect for uh, link, if for reach out, uh, organization having all of your contacts in one place, love it. Very, very nice. Uh, app, uh, uh, yeah. Um, the next one, which I actually forgot to put, which is very helpful, um, which we do, is actually a, a Gmail or Google Apps, right? So um, you basically have, you know, everything in one place. So Google Apps, it, your your Gmail, easily searchable. You can use. Um, yeah, templates for your emails if you have reach outs maybe and uh, you just have everything in one place. I really like Google Apps and recommend it strongly. Okay, next thing is Google Plus. So uh, again, uh, you know, Google Plus tied into search algorithm. Uh, now you have personalized search so it's great for your friends to, search, to, to plus one things to search, uh, to connect in the communities, on and on and on. And this is just a picture I took in, in one of the malls. Uh, a few days back, and I just thought it was nice to see. So, um, again, you know, Google Plus, very recommended, great tool. Uh, next one is Google Translate, especially perfect, uh, especially good for, um, you know, learning about opportunities from other languages. Maybe you're looking to uh, translate your website and you want to figure out more opportunities, maybe reach out uh, and just expand. So, using Google Translate in, in a global uh, you know, more global internet and more global world is very important. Uh, next one, obviously, webmaster tools. A lot of insight. Uh, you can figure out about your, your crawl errors, maybe things you have to redirect, real ones from 404 pages, um, a, a lot of stuff. So webmaster tools, you know, tons of stuff you can actually improve and do. Uh, next one is the platform which we're using right now is creating videos, creating content, SEO, uh, SEO marketing, getting out there is about a big part is about creating content, sharing your information, helping solve problems, creating videos like what I'm doing right now, and later on also uh, interacting with your community. So uh, the way I do it, and I would love to do it uh, to continue, is now for this video, for example, if you have any questions about any of the Google tools and how they can help with your SEO or marketing efforts, I'll be happy to help. And I want to help you guys in the comments. So ask me any questions, and I'll be happy to, to give you detailed answers about any questions you have and uh, just more information. And I want to interact with you guys. Uh, I want to create more content, and I love your questions and your insights. And the last thing 
which I like to do is actually Google web history. So if you go to your settings, you can you can go into web history if it's enabled, and if not, you should enable it. And the reason I like it is I like to create content, right? So uh, what I like to do is anytime I search for some kind of problem within my industry or my business or my client's business, I search for. So let's say, uh, for example, we're set, selling again soccer jerseys. So now if I'm a business owner or one of my workers is actually uh, searching for something in order to solve a problem, I want to actually go back to that history, remember what problems I have, and then obviously remember what the answer was, and I want to share it. I want to share it with my, my potential customers, with my customers, with my workers, and, and using this kind of a what you search for, uh, it, this theory of if I search for it, Probably because the internet is so big, there's so many people online, probably there's many more people searching for it. So if you can go back to what you search for, figure it out, write content, create videos, create images, infographics, animated GIFs, blah, 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 all that stuff, you can actually uh, use that, that history in order to kind of create content. I love that stuff. Um, that's basically it. So again, if you have any questions about this, about any tools, to help either within Google or, or uh, otherwise that help with SEO, help with marketing. I'll really be happy to help with you guys. Uh, be happy to, to assist. Thank you very much for listening to this video, and we'll be creating some more soon. Thank you.